We have a special K from BYU Women's Basketball making her Studio B debut right now. Kalani Purcell of BYU Women's Hoops. Kalani, welcome to BYU Sports Nation. Thank you. Look at this shirt, by the way. It's Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars sweatshirt. This is legit. Okay. Are, uh, did you grow up a Star Wars fan? You... E, oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Any, like, fantasy kind of thing, like mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings. Oh, Lord of – you and I are best friends. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. Star goodness. Wars and Lord of the Seriously. Rings. Seriously. Well, do you have to like Lord of the Rings if you're from New Zealand? I no, mean, I know a lot of people that don't like it. From New Zealand? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of weird to me, but I get it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to like every American film from the United States. I get it, but yeah. Um, how many times have you seen Star Wars? Uh, so far once, but hope things are going next week. Okay. I've seen it three times. Sp Spencer? I have seen it twice. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. I am ahead of the curve, right? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think two times is pretty good. Awesome. <laughs> Kalani? On to more important questions, like who is the most popular Kalani on campus at BYU right now? Um, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can say yourself. I like to think myself. You should but say yourself. <laughs> it's a little yeah. weird having another Kalani on campus. It's kind of a different name. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially yeah. being in the SAB where, like, all they talk about is Coach Sataki. And so, like, I, like, just hear his name and think they're talking to me. So I'm, like, talking to people, but they're actually talking to other <laughs> about a different Kalani. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I am excited about this. Yeah, I know. Way through the year. I yeah. was like, um, our season already started, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. We've won four in a row. We're yeah. awesome. <laughs> I don't really care about recruiting. I'm yeah. Just trying to, yeah, I'm just trying to rebound and stuff. Yeah, that's funny. Um, do you know the other Kiwis on campus very well? Uh, yeah, I know, like, Johnny. Well, everyone calls him Johnny Football, I guess. And I know Jackson Kaka and mm -hmm. another rugby good. football player. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, I met Jackson. Is yeah. Not, uh, so are there three in the athletic department? Uh, that yeah. That, well, yeah. There's us three, and I don't know if there's any others. There's oh, a there. lot of Australians. Yeah. But I don't. Really you get along with them, okay? Oh, we have an occasional fight every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> What has it been for you as uh, now a Division One college athlete, so far away from home in Provo, Utah? <laughs> Different. <laughs> I mean, that's the best way I can explain it. I guess I don't know. No, it's cool. It's just different. What do you miss most about New Zealand? The food, definitely. Give us an idea of what kind of food you're missing. Uh, all of it. I meat don't know. pies. Oh yeah, d d one of the main things is meat pies. What's a meat pie? I don't I don't know what a meat pie. It's just like a pie with meat in it. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. I, b I believe you're the reigning uh, West Coast Conference Player of the Week. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, what was it like to get that award on Monday? What did that mean? Uh, I mean, it was a surprise. I didn't know until my coach just randomly was like, "Oh, congrats!" By the way, I was like, "Thanks." I'm not really sure what for, but thanks. <laughs> Wait, and do you get anything? You just get street cred, right? Yeah. There's nothing physical involved. No. A printout. No. Well, I mean, on the internet. A cake, a trophy, nothing. <laughs> no. Nothing. Okay. A high five <laughs> from my <laughs> team. You, you also got the BYU Sports Nation Women's Basketball Player of the Week in the West Coast Conference from this show. We just gave we that. Just announced oh. We just, just now. announced that yes. right now. As of 10.47 and 38 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> We've even put up a graphic, Player of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. <laughs> Kalani Purcell of BYU Women's Basketball with us on BYU Sports Nation. Your team has won 10 of 11, four straight. Things are rolling right now. You beat Texas A&M to kind of get things really going. And now you're in a good position to potentially compete for a West Coast Conference title. Mm -hmm. So what has been the key to winning 10 out of the last 11? Uh, I think... It's just been not trying to, like, force things. Like, as a team, try and work together. You know, everyone just play their role. I think that's probably the one of the main things that we've been focusing on. And you play Gonzaga tonight, a uh, big game against them. What have you been told about playing Gonzaga and what it takes to beat them? Uh, I've been told that they're, like, really physical and, like, they just try and make you, I don't know, get like get out of rhythm. So it should be... Interesting. Should be fun. Do you welcome that battle? Oh, a, yeah, as a definitely. As a, on the physical side, because I'm a physical person, like on the court. Don't tell my coaches that. That's why I get in foul <laughs> trouble. But, <laughs> you know, so like I'm really excited for that part of the game. You've played against St. Mary's, so you understand the physical type of play that does exist in the West Coast Conference. Mm -hmm. Tonight, more of the same likely from Gonzaga. 
Jeff Judkins told us earlier this week, and he's told us a couple of times, <laughs> he wants you to shoot the ball more. Uh, yeah. <laughs> which is like every player's dream. Yeah. <laughs> right? Are you going to shoot the ball more, Kalani? Tonight? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, it's not my usual game, but yeah, it's definitely one of my goals for tonight. Okay, I've got you for, I'm doing some math on the fly here. <laughs> I've got you for 9.4 shots per game. Can we get that up to 13 tonight? Four more shots? Tonight? Yeah. You're putting the pressure oh, yeah. on. Yeah. Putting <laughs> the pressure on. I, she's the West Coast Conference Player of the Week. She's <laughs> averaging a double-double. This is okay, right? Right. Okay, right. okay so 11.6 boards per game is 10th in the country. What? Uh, when did you decide that rebounding was going to be something important to you? <laughs> uh, I mean... I've always been like one of the biggest people on the court, so it's always been like a strength for me. But then when I came here and like were, I played against people who were bigger, I kind of took that a personal challenge against myself to beat them all at rebounding, which has worked so far. And when you say here, do you mean the United States, like when you went to the, the junior college and everything? Yeah. yeah. Or, or at BYU? Both. Both? Yeah. Okay. Who, or I should say, which teammate makes you laugh the most? The most? Yeah. I mean, they're all pretty funny together, but I think probably Alohi and Amanda are the f funniest girls together. Alohi, Robin, she, see, Alohi is kind of quiet. Yeah. So is she like the big goofball in practice or what? Uh, I She just does some like random, like the most random things. And you just like, where did that just come from? <laughs> and I don't know. What kind of random stuff do they do? Uh, like Amanda would just like makes random, like it, for example, yesterday in practice, she was just, for some reason, quoting SpongeBob and just making like the sounds that they make on SpongeBob. <laughs> Jerem loves that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jerem loves that so much. People think that that's from SpongeBob. It is not. <laughs> it is not. That's awesome. Um, is Lexi Eden, uh, right, Elch, is she as intense off the court as on the court? We've seen her in here, but uh, on the court, she can be pretty into it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she. No, off the court, she's really cool. She's really chill and stuff. But then on the court, it's like you don't want to get on her bad side when you're on the court. <laughs> no, I would not. <laughs> yeah. Kalani Purcell at BYU Women's Basketball on with us on BYU Sports Nation. They host Gonzaga tonight trying to get to 5-1 and one in WCC play. We have Coach Judkins on every week. We call it jamming with Juddy. We get a kick out of him. He's hilarious. What is your favorite Juddyism or the quote that, that he says the most to you in practice? Um, I don't know. He says a lot of stuff in practice. It's that's really uh cool. Like <laughs> <laughs> you're picking the right word there. Yeah. <laughs> Super weird. Uh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> like like what? Um. Ah, oh, he said one yesterday, but I can't remember it. It's okay. so funny though, but I just can't remember it. Okay. When you, when you, you, you remember, you remember, tell remember me maybe. tonight because I want to put it on the broadcast. <laughs> All right. Kalani Purcell at BYU Women's Basketball. Uh, a couple of things. We need you to sign our stretch Y flag with oh, this okay. silver Sharpie before you go. And also, are you aware of the BYU Sports Nation karma? Have you heard about this? No. Well, let us institute you then. What happens is when you come on the show, you play well in your next game. It's, oh, a, really? re it's yeah, a real it's thing. It's happened a lot. Ask Lexi Rydalch about it. <laughs> She okay. will tell you all about it. It's a real thing. Ask Mackenzie Morrison. Lexi thought that that meant shoot more this year. So that's helped the point per game average as well. Hey, she's yeah. six in the country. 23.4, yeah, man. It's working, man. It's working. <laughs> Take the karma. Go and succeed, my friend. All right. Okay, here you go.